Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you joined me today. I am Anu Crochet if you are new and I share with you tutorials just for the sake of sharing my passion with the world. I love teaching crochet and especially to people that do not know or are not comfortable with crochet or intimidated by it. That is my goal with my channel is to invite you to enjoy the art of crochet with me and understand that it is not intimidating and that anyone can do it. And the beauty of crochet is that you just need a crochet hook and yarn and that is it. All right. That being said, today I am sharing with you a beautiful pattern, a back pattern that I have seen everywhere on the internet. I've seen it especially on Pinterest. It's the uh, crochet leaf handbag. It is gorgeous. So I found so many different patterns on it and I wanted today to share with you my interpretation of it. It's very similar to all the other ones that you can find on the internet. All the, the links that I uh, can find on Pinterest and everything to the existing patterns, I will try to link in the info box down below. If you guys know who is the original creator for this pattern, let me know because I really would like to give them credit for it. They deserve it. So my interpretation of it is especially for you, for visual learners that have a harder time uh, following written patterns. So I will actually, as usual, take you step by step. This is not hard at all. The tricky part about this pattern is that every round is crocheted in the round. Every round is different. I don't think there are two rounds that are the same maybe at the end, uh, the border of the bag, but that is about it. So that's the difficulty about it. Except for that, easy. Front post double crochet, back post double crochet, nothing we haven't done before. If you are new, no worries. I will really take you slowly but surely through it. So don't be intimidated by it. I loved it so much that I did two different colors and two different materials. The first one that I made here, it is... Oh, so gorgeous. I love this bag so much. It's really a beautiful creation. I will put the info about the yarn that I used in the info box. It's acrylic and it's very cheap. I used about one pound of it. Karen one pound saver. So it's one skin of one pound in this beautiful turquoise color. It's super sturdy. It's acrylic and it's soft. And I added um, those handles that you can buy at Joanne uh, or any craft store around you, Michael's um, and AC Moore have them too. So yeah, so love, love, love this bag. And then I loved it so much. I also did it with the material that everybody uses on the internet to make this one. I used, see, this one is made with the macrame, kind of spaghetti um, cotton uh, yarn, which is a little more sturdy and a little stiffer. Uh, and I added those beautiful handles that I made myself. Uh, I will show you in the tutorial how to create them in the very close future. But yeah, it's beautiful. It could be a beautiful beach bag, but I think that for the fall, it's perfect too, because it's a very mustardy fall color. In love with this bag, totally. So yeah, it's uh, pretty long. So I think I'm going to cut the tutorial and uh, divide it in one or two or three parts. So you don't get overwhelmed with, uh, uh, you know, when you open my tutorial and you see two and a half hours, you're like, oh yeah, maybe it's not for me. No, no, it is for you. Just take your time, uh, follow it. I'm telling you, it's not hard. It's just round by round. And yeah, that's about it. I am actually flying tonight to Switzerland. So yeah, I don't know if you can see, but I'm super happy and I'm super stressed for whatever reason. Anytime I fly or I go somewhere, I get so stressed before the plane, before just before leaving the house. I love being home with the family and just taking me outside of the comfort zone always. Yeah, I know, I, I woke up today, I don't know if you can see, I have like big bags. I woke up today at four in the morning, I couldn't sleep anymore and yeah, story of my life. Thank God I have the crochet because it uh, grounds me, it calms me down. I'm definitely going to take crochet with me on the plane and with me to my vacation. Hopefully I will have time to crochet. I'm sure I will, even in the car when we drive around. Don't hesitate to come and visit me on Instagram, on IGTV, Instagram TV. My name is Anu Crochet there and uh, I will try to film as much as I can. And so I can take you with me on my adventures. I think I had done it last year when I was in Colorado 
and that was pretty cool. If you are not subscribed to my channel, don't hesitate to do so. It's totally free. Click on the subscribe button right there. Don't hesitate to hit on that little bell, especially now because I'm not even sure when I'm going to post the part two and the part three of this tutorial. And if you click on that little bell, you will be notified every time I do. For last week, a giveaway about the, what was it? The ripple stitch um, blanket. If you haven't seen it here, you can click right here. Here is the name of the winner. Congratulations. You will get the material to create this beautiful ripple stitch blanket but not before September when I come back. In the meantime, send me please your address in my email right there and then be patient and in September I will go to the post office and send you your giveaway. Uh, what else can I tell you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that is it. So if you are interested in creating this beautiful, oh so popular leaf handbag, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your summer and I'll see you soon for the part two and the part three of this tutorial. All right, bye. And don't hesitate to send me pictures of your beautiful crochet creations, either on my Facebook page or just um, email them to me. Why not? Bye. For this tutorial, you will need one skein of the Caron one pound acrylic yarn. I chose the turquoise colors, but there's so many other choices. You will need a five millimeter crochet hook and scissors and a tapestry needle. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and you are going to make a magic circle. You are going to chain three and your chain three will count as your first double crochet. Then inside your magic circle, you will make 15 double crochets. This bag will be crocheted in the round. Once you have your 16 double crochet, counting the chain three as your first, you're going to pull on the end yarn to close your circle. Pull really tight. And then I usually make a knot in the back of my work so it doesn't unravel. Or to end your round, you're going to slip stitch at the top of the first chain three you had made. And just like that, you are done with your first round. So throughout your whole bag, you are going to begin each and every round the same way. You're going to go behind your post, wrap your crochet hook around the post, the chain three from the previous round from the back. And this will prevent having a line where you join your rounds at the end of each round. You see that chain three post from the previous round, pass your crochet hook behind from the back around the post. Then you're going to yarn over and through that post again, back to the post and to the loop on your crochet hook. And that is the way you are going to begin each and every round. And then you're going to chain three. And that chain three will count as your first post. And at the same time, it will take your first post to the back of your work. Throughout your whole work, the first post will count as a back post double crochet. Now in that same, around that same chain three post, you are going to make a back post double crochet. Let me remind you how to. Yarn over, wrapping your crochet hook from the back around the post. Yarn over, back through the post, you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two loops and yarn over through two loops. So you increased by making two back post double crochet around your chain three from the first round. Around the next post, you will make a front post double crochet. 
So you are going to yarn over and instead of coming from the back around the next post from your round one, you're going to come from the front, wrapping your crochet around the post, yarn over back through the post, you have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over through two of the loops on your crochet hook and yarn over to the rest. So just like that, you brought that post to the front of your work. And you're going to repeat that pattern all around your first round. So making two back post double crochet around the next uh, double crochet from your previous round. Here is one back post double crochet. Around that same post, make another back post double crochet, just the way I showed you, bringing those posts to the back of your work. And then around the next double crochet from round one, you will make a front post double crochet. And repeat that all around two back post double crochet in the same, around the same post, and then in the next post, a front post double crochet. And I will meet you at the end of round two. Here we are at the end of round two and this is what your work will look like and we are going to finish our round. So you see how you have the front post separated by the back post. Here we go. In total you should have eight front posts separated by a back post and you're going to end your round by a front post and then you will slip stitch at the top of your first chain three you had made at the beginning. All right, you remember we are beginning our round three the same way we begin every round by wrapping our crochet hook around the post from the previous round from the back, bringing our work to the back. Then you're going to yarn over and through that post again, back to the post and to the loop on your crochet hook and then chain three. Now we're ready to begin our third round. You already have your first back post double crochet. The chain three count as your first back post double crochet. In that same back post, in that same post from round two, you're going to make a back post double crochet again. Therefore increasing. It is going to be another round of increase. All right, then in the next back post double crochet from the previous round, make two back post double crochet. Here is one. And here is the second one. So now you have four back post double crochets. Here they are. Around your front post, you're going to make a front post double crochet. All right, so you have four back post double crochet and one front post double crochet. Now in the next two back post double crochet from the previous round, you're going to make around each of them two. So two back post double crochet around the first one. Two back post double crochet around the second one. And around the next front post double crochet, so you have 
four back post double crochet, a front post, four back post double crochet. Around the next front post double crochet, what you're going to do is make a front post double crochet around your post. You're going to chain one and around that same front post double crochet, make another front post double crochet. And what you have there from the beginning of your round is the pattern you are going to repeat three more times. This pack is worked in quadrants. So we always, every each and every round will have a pattern that will be repeated four times in total. So may I remind you of your pattern, which is now for your third round, two back post double crochet in each of the back post double crochet from the previous round. So turning two back post double crochet into four. In the next front post double crochet, a front post double crochet. Around those two next back post double crochet, two back post double crochet around each one, turning two into four. Here we go, we have a four back post double crochet. And now around the front post double crochet, you are going to make a front post double crochet, chain one and front post double crochet. Then you're going to repeat this pattern for two more times, twice more. The front post, chain front post will be the base of your leaf. Our bag will consist in four leaves at the base. And I will meet you at the end of your third round and this is what your round will look like. At the end of your third round, you will slip stitch on top of the first chain three you had made. And for your fourth round, remember, you begin the same way, wrapping your crochet hook around the chain three from the previous round, from the back and then chain three, which count as your first back post double crochet. You are at round four. So as I said, your chain three counts as your first back post double crochet. Make another back post double crochet around that same chain three from the previous round. Now you have two back post double crochet. Around the next back post double crochet from the previous round, make one back post double crochet. Around the next back post double crochet, again, we're going to increase, making two back post double crochet around that same post. And then making another back post double crochet around the last back post double crochet, your fourth one. And now you will have six back post double crochet, which is really what we want for the rest of our tutorial. No more increases there. Around your front post double crochet, just make a front post double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, counting the first chain one and repeat. So here you have four back post double crochet, we'll turn them into six by increasing, making two back post double crochet around the first back post double crochet from the previous round. One and two. Making a back post double crochet around the next one. Two back post double crochet around the third one. And then a back post double crochet around the last one. Turning those four back post double crochets into six. Beautiful. 
this is your work so you have six back post double crochet front post double crochet and six back post double crochet this is what your work will look like right now it looks like a little spider web and i promise you it will look like a leaf soon all right so now you have the next front post double crochet you're going to make a front post double crochet around that post right there and then you remember we had a chain one around that chain one in that chain one space you're going to make a V stitch which consists of a double crochet a chain one and a double crochet around that same chain one space from the previous round around the next front post double crochet you make a front post double crochet this is the base of your leaf so what we have done so far for this round you're going to repeat three more times to create that quadrant so we had six back post double crochet a front post double crochet six back post double crochet a front post double crochet a v stitch and a front post double crochet repeat that three more times and i will meet you at the end of your fourth round and here we are at the end of your fourth round and as usual we will slip stitch at the top of the chain three from the beginning of your round you will begin your fifth round the same way we begin each and every round wrapping your crochet around the chain three from the previous round yarn over and back through your loops on your crochet hook chaining three creating your first back post double crochet now super easy you're going to make a back post double crochet in the next five back post double crochet from the previous round you are at round five Around the front post double crochet, just make a front post double crochet. And you get it. Around the six back post double crochet, make back post double crochet around each and every one of them, ending with six back post double crochet. So now around the next front post double crochet, make a front post double crochet. Same around the next front post double crochet, make a front post double crochet. And in the chain one space, make a V stitch, which is a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet, widening your leaf. Around the next two front post double crochet, you will make a front post double crochet around each and every one of them. And just like that, you did your quadrant. So you will repeat this three more times and I will meet you at the end of your round five. All right. So we are at the end of your round five. You end with a front post double crochet and you slip stitch with the first chain three you had made. This is what your work will look like. You can clearly see the beginning of our four leaves. And you will end by slip stitching at the top of the chain three and begin your sixth round the same way we usually do. Voila. And then you chain three, which will count as your first back post double crochet. Make five more back post double crochet. Okay. 
and then make a front post double crochet six more back post double crochet around the next front post double crochet <clears throat> make a front post double crochet and then another front post double crochet around the next one around the double crochet from the previous round make a front post double crochet and then a v stitch in the chain space and then make a front post double crochet around the three more the three next posts the first DC and then the two other front post double crochets and this is the quadrant you are going to repeat three more times and I will meet you at the end of your sixth round And here we are at the end of our sixth round, ending our round with a slip stitch at the top of the first chain three we had made. And beginning our seventh round the same way we usually do, wrapping our crochet hook around the post, yarn over through all the loops on your hook, and chain three will count as your first back post double crochet, five more back post double crochets. And now a little change around the front post double crochet from the previous round you are going to make three front post double crochet around that same post and that will be the base of a new leaf so around that same post three front post double crochets you did it here is your baby leaf and now in the six next back post double crochet from the previous round, make six back post double crochets. Here you go, now you have reached your bigger leaf. And what you're going to do is make a front post double crochet in the next four stitches so around your three front post double crochet from the previous round and around your double crochet from the previous round front post double crochet one two three and four instead of a v stitch you are going to make two double crochets in the chain one space from the previous round one and two And then around the next four stitches, front post double crochet. So around the next double crochet from the previous round of front post double crochet and three more. One, two, three, and this is your quadrant. You're going to repeat that for three more times. And I will meet you at the end of your seventh round. And guess what? We're ending it the same way, slip stitching at the top of your chain three and beginning around it the same way again. It's getting so pretty. Begin round eight as usual. Chain three and make your five more back post double crochet. Then in the front, in the first front back post double crochet from the previous round, you are going to increase by making two front post double crochet in that same, around that same post. 
and then a front post double crochet in the next one and then around the next one again increase making two front post double crochet around that same post so now you have five front post double crochets in total and then make six back post double crochet And now you're going to make a front post double crochet around each of the 10 stitches that are presenting themselves to you. So four front post double crochet and then around the double crochet from the previous round as well. So you will have a total of 10 front post double crochet for this leaf. And once you reach the end of your 10 front post double crochet, you will repeat the quadrant three more times. All right, at the end of your round eight, you're going to finish the same way we have done. So slip stitching at the top of the chain three and then begin your round nine as usual. Make uh, five or more, so chain three and then five or more back post double crochet and I will meet you there. We are at our round nine. And here is the way your work will look. So you see the big leaves there and what looks like a big leaf in the middle and what looks like a small leaf in the middle which will turn into two little leaves you will see all right so you are ready for your ninth round we ended the eighth round as usual and begin our ninth round as usual as well you have your first chain three which counts as your back post double crochet and you're going to regularly make your five next back post double crochet All right, so now we're going to turn that one little, what looks like one little leaf into two. So we're going to have two leaves going out of that stem. Around that first front post double crochet, make a front post double crochet, then chain one. <clears throat> and around the same front post double crochet, make another front post double crochet. This will be eventually a little leaf. Then the next front post double crochet, you will turn it into a back post double crochet. So around the front post double crochet from the previous round, make a back post double crochet, bringing it to the back of your work. And then the next one will be the stem. So around the front post double crochet, make a front post double crochet. The next front post double crochet, you will turn it into a back post double crochet, bringing it to the back of your work. And then around the next front post double crochet, you will make a front post double crochet, a chain, and a front post double crochet around that same front post double crochet. Voila! Then you are going to make six back post double crochet as usual. And now time to decrease the big leaf, shaping it. So you're going to decrease, turning those two first post double crochets into one. Let me show you how. Yarn over and pass it around the front post double crochet as if you were doing a front post double crochet unfinished. Yarn over and back 
and then yarn over and through both of the loops leave those two last loops on your crochet hook and go to the next front post double crochet yarn over and then begin your front post double crochet regularly yarn over and back and through yarn over and through the two loops then you have three loops on your crochet hook and you're going to yarn over through all the loops on your crochet hook and just like that you turned two front post double crochets into one and now you're going to front post double crochet in the next six stitches so six regular front post double crochets And when you reach the two last stitches, we are going to decrease, make one, one more front post double crochet. You see you have two left right there. Yarn over around your front post double crochet. Yarn over and back. You have three loops on three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over through two loops. Leave the two loops on your crochet hook. To go to the next one and repeat. Yarn over. Go through your next post. Yarn over and back. Yarn over and through two loop. You will have three loops left on your crochet hook, and then you will yarn over through all the loops on your hook, and just like that, you decreased. So you turned 10 front post double crochets into 8. You decreased by 2. One decrease at the beginning of your leaf and one at the end. Here you go, you have your quadrant pattern and you will repeat that 3 times. And this is what your work will look like at the end of your round 9. It looks so cute, you can really see it getting formed and I love it. Let's continue. All right, ending your round nine the way you usually do it. And beginning your round 10 as usual, chain three and five back post double crochets. Make a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round and in the chain one space you are going to make a v-stitch and then make a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. Now around the next back post double crochet, you are going to increase by making two back post double crochet around the same post. One back post double crochet and another one around the same back post from the previous round. And then make a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. And then we're going to mirror the other side, repeating the same thing. So two back post double crochet around the back post double crochet. Increasing. And then in the next front post double crochet, make a front post double crochet, and then a v-stitch in the chain space, which I remind you is a double crochet, chain one double crochet. And then a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round. 
Voilà. And then you're going to make your six back post double crochet. And this is what your work will look like right now. And now we are going to continue to shape our leaf by still decreasing at the beginning and at the end, repeating, turning those two front post double crochet into one. Now remember, since we had decrease, we have to wrap around the decrease and then wrap around the next post and repeat decreasing, turning the two first stitches into one, front post two double crochet together and then we will have four regular front post double crochets. And then turning the two last stitches, the two last front post double crochet into one and that will make a leaf of six front post double crochets in total after the decrease. There you go, you're finishing your decrease, turning the two last front post double crochets into one. And just like that, you have your quadrant for your 11th round. And repeat three times, I will meet you at the end of your round. Here we are at the end. Look how gorgeous. You really can see the leaves taking shape now. Love it so much. And by the way, this is what your work will look like from the back, like a little octopus. Let's finish our 11th round, usual way. And let's tackle on the 12th round, beginning it the same way. chain three and five back post double crochets here we are now you're going to make a front post double crochet in the front post double crochet and then a front post double crochet in the next and then in the chain one you are going to make a v-stitch And then a front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet and in the next. Voila. Then you're going to make a back post double crochet in each and every one of the back post double crochet from the previous round. So two back post double crochet, a front post double crochet in the stem, and then we're going to mirror it again on the other side. So two back post double crochets, A front post double crochet in the next two front post double crochets. A V stitch in the chain space. And a front post double crochet around the two next stitches. The two next posts. Voila! And then you're going to make your six back post double crochet right there.
We are going to continue to shape the leaf by decreasing it. Now we are going to turn the two first front post double crochet into one again. The same way we did before. And then we are going to have two regular front post double crochets and decreasing the last two front post double crochets, turning them into one. In total we will have four front post double crochet left to our leaf, closing it slowly but surely. That is your quadrant, repeat it three times and I will meet you at the end of round 12. This is what your work will look like at the end of round 12. Let's finish our round 12 the same way we do usually and begin our round 13. Again, chain three, five back post double crochet. Make a front post double crochet around the next three stitches. Now in the chain one space, you are going to make two double crochets. And then make a front post double crochet around the next three stitches. A back post double crochet in the next two stitches. And in the front post double crochet in the stem, make a front post double crochet. Mirror the same thing on the other on the other side. So two back post double crochet. And then a front post double crochet in the next three stitches. Two double crochets in the chain space. And then a front post double crochet in the next three stitches. Here you go, you see how the two leaves are shaping up, it's the stem in the middle. Now you're going to make your six back post a double crochet. And now time for a leaf decrease, turning the two first front post double crochets into one. And right away turning the two last front post double crochet into one again. You will have two 
front post double crochets left on your leaf it is closing getting pointy this is your quadrant for this 13th round and I will meet you at the end and here we are at the end of your 13th round finish it as usual and let's tackle the 14th round beginning of 14th round the same way chain three will count as your first back post double crochet and make back post double crochet and then proceed by making front post double crochet in each and every one of the eight stitches presenting themselves to you so eight front post double crochet In the next two back post double crochet, make a back post double crochet in each and every one of them. And you're reaching the middle stem, the front post double crochet. And now we're going to create the base of your third little leaf. You are going to make in that same post three front post double crochet in the same post. One, two, and three. And then you're going to mirror the other side, making a back post double crochet in the next two stitches. and making a front post double crochet in the next eight stitches as they're presenting themselves to you. Perfect. Now you're going to make your six back post double crochet in the next six stitches. And then you are going to make one stitch out of the two left front post double crochet. So make one front post double crochet decrease, turning those two into one and you just finished your leaf pattern. And you are going to repeat of course this quadrant pattern three more times. And I will meet you next time for the second part of our tutorial. Look how pretty it is. We will continue next time. In the meantime, just finish your round as usual and see you soon for the rest of the tutorial. And understand that it has to... No. <coughs> <coughs> wow. I said I will take you slowly, slowly. 
I will take you. <laughs> Uh, which is, ugh, come on, come on. Uh. <laughs> For last year, last year again. Oh my God, Anna, last week. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, not gonna happen. <laughs>